sucks. Nobody's going to argue with that. Unfortunately, our healthcare system is complex, and it doesn't make it any easier that after receiving a diagnosis such as this, people feel anxious, overwhelmed, and afraid. My role as a patient advocate is to help folks like you, or those you may know who are struggling with cancer, solve the problems that may be keeping you from moving forward. These are the final four tips of the Mayo Clinic's list of 11 tips for coping with a cancer diagnosis. Number eight, consider how your diagnosis is gonna impact your finances. Unexpected financial burdens can arise as a result of a cancer diagnosis. Your treatment may require time away from work or an extended time away from home. Consider the additional costs of medications, medical devices, traveling for treatment, and even parking fees at the hospital. Thankfully, many clinics and hospitals keep lists of resources to help you financially during and after your cancer treatment. Talk with your healthcare team about your options. Number nine, talk to other people with cancer. It'll be easy to feel as if people who haven't experienced the cancer diagnosis can fully understand how you are feeling. Maybe you have a friend or family member who's had cancer. Hearing from survivors about their own experiences can help give you insight into what to expect. There are a ton of online resources and support groups. Contact your local chapter of the American Cancer Society and explore online message boards, Facebook groups, and a host of other resources available online. Number 10, fight stigmas. Some old stigmas associated with cancer still exist. Friends may wonder if your cancer is contagious. Coworkers may doubt that you're healthy enough to do your job, and some may withdraw for fearing of saying the wrong thing. Lots of people will have questions and concerns. If you're prepared for how you'll handle others' behaviors toward you, for the most part, others will take their cues from your responses and actions. And lastly, number 11, develop your own coping strategy. Each person's cancer treatment is individualized, and no two people cope exactly the same. Come up with strategies that work for you. Things to consider may be keeping a journal to organize your thoughts, seeking out a source of spiritual or emotional support, or creating lists with pros and cons for any difficult decisions. For a complete list and more detail on all these tips, go to mayoclinic.org. The link will be posted in the comments below. And please do consider adding anything that worked for you or somebody you may know. My name is Saki Litovin. I'm a patient advocate with Navone Health. Thanks so much for listening. Make it a great day.